Let's do a tutorial on conversion for units from Maya, Maya, Maya exports into Unity and Unity units. So first off, when you are starting a new scene in Maya, uh, it starts off as centimeters. And a good way and uh, just sort of good practice is to have a reference point. So what I like to do is go to Window, Animation Editors, and then to Human IK and create a skeleton. So now we have an idea of the scale that we're actually working with. So instead of being in centimeters, we want to go to Maya Preferences, which we can also access from this icon down here. We want to go to Settings, and then Convert Working Units to Meters, and save that. And you can already see that the grid uh, is a more appropriate size. So when we create a cube, then we see that it's a one by one by one. So let's go ahead and export that. And we'll call it one by one by one meter, which I already have, but I'll just overwrite it. Then it's going to bring up the actual FBX settings. And here we, I just undid uh, cameras, lights, and back media. And the important part is at the advanced options in units. So automatically it's going to be going to meters, matching whatever the units are for the actual scene. But we want to uncheck that and convert that to centimeters uh, and export that. Then we can go to our scene, which Unity I'm working in 5.4.1, and we can import that. Let's find it. And drag it in. And we can see that the size is correct. Uh, again, same thing with Maya, uh, Unity as in Maya, is I like to have a third person controller. So I do import package and characters and then bring the third person controller in there. And this way we make sure that uh, scaling isn't a problem and that all the physics are going to be working according to the sort of Unity defaults that are happening. Now, if we didn't do that, if we went to export and uh, call it test. And we did automatic and kept it at meters, then let's see what happens. So we have our cube, and it is the right size, but if you go over to the scale, it's actually uh, one one hundredth of the actual scale. So if we actually put it up to its normal size, then the thing would be enormous. And we don't want that if we are affecting scales and uh, and um, other stuff in in the code. So this is the best practice for making sure that your pipeline from Maya exports to uh, Unity exports go. Hope it was helpful, and I'll talk to you later.